Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Purple Hyacinth episode 83 to 84. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do the blur 50% of each episode. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who wants to support me, I do have all my reads without any sort of like filter or cat logo or censorship. They're all available on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh my gosh, it stutters. <laughs> Purple Hyacinth. Why is it downward? Episode 83? What is going on? Go, go, go. Another round! <laughs> yes. No. Bad idea. Last time we had a an APD party, you... You're not my boss tonight. I can do what I want. Besides, nothing bad happened last time. Do it, Kim. Do it. <laughs> she only says that because she doesn't remember. <laughs> like, she looks so traumatized. <laughs> Stop encouraging her, Randall. Don't listen to Hawks. He's not good for you. Randall! Oh, Lauren. Why is this miscre miscreant raining on my parade? No idea. Fine, I'll get you something. Yay, I'm coming with you. Stay put, unless you want to make a very intimate encounter with the floor. I'm going. So, Kieran, what were you doing before the APD? Oh, I've had a few other student jobs here and there. I was studying I was studying criminology and I was abroad for a while. Actually, I only came back recently. So why apply to be an archivist? Honestly, it does more to pay the rent than finishing my degree would. But it's calm and simple and that's something I want in my life right now. Don't ever considered swapping dusty bookshelves for the Cop Academy? You seem pretty strong. You could stand the program. Oh, I'm way too scared of getting shot. Besides, I don't even know how to use a gun. Never touched one. Scott, I never seen him use one before. I never figured out why he uses a sword either. Cling, huh? Well, fuck. Are you single? I'm sure the lovely women over there would be eager to be introduced. So. Huh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not really looking for anything right now. But I have a lot of friends I can introduce them to if needed. He doesn't have a lot of friends. <laughs> I have to make everyone's life miserable. Yes, exactly, Kim. Now, again, but louder. I have to make everyone's life miserable. Uh. You're poison, miss. Uh. <laughs> this is water. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten, Lieutenant Farewell. You tried to trick me! Uh, yes, another one to my collection. Here it is, the beginning of the end. I see right through you. Oh? Wait, danger alert? All the girls are coming over to flirt. Stop. Oh! Oh! Huh? Look at everyone's face. <laughs> Look at Kira's face. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> so, boom. No! You can't touch him. <clears throat> Sergeant Liddell, I don't think we can. <clears throat> no, not you, March. <laughs> Huh? No, you can't. This man's taken. 
Oh. What? Is that true, Karen? Intelligent stuff. Oh. Huh? Oh. <laughs> and he's he's mine. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dramatic gas. <gasps> Huh? Really, Karen? Is that true? <laughs> His face! <laughs> Cheers! The world has already ended! <laughs> no. Yeah, he's right. We're not. Yet. But I call dibs. Bomb. But none of y'all touch him. Got it? Hey, get in line. I was here first. Kim. <laughs> get down. Lauren, you're back. <laughs> I think I might have accidentally stolen your man. Sorry. Uh, talking about stealing hearts. <laughs> he kicked him. She kicked him. Randall. Look at your nine o'clock. No, there are better ways, William. We need to end her or we'll all die. Not those two hopeless souls. Oh. It's about time we talked about our sweet Miss Des Roses. I'm sure she I'm sure you stole her heart quite a while ago. Oh. She's so nervous around you, but it's only because she wants to kiss you. Look at the way she looks at you. That's fear because he keeps threatening her all the time. Wait, shh, Will, this might be good. Yes, shut up, Will. Never mind, I'm leaving. Shh, Will, shh. Oh, don't be so shy. Look, it's not that hard. Go. Oh, she grabbed him. Uh. Oh. Oh. Boom. See? It's easy. Did you cash out on camera? You want to buy my blackmail? For research purposes? I need another drink. Two pence. Ten. Five. Seven. Solid. You have no idea how happy you'll be to forget this. In the meantime, it's dance o'clock. Oh. His smile. I wanted to tell you, I would not get involved with them outside of the office, nor put them in any danger, not even if I'm ordered to. Let's get some water. It's so hot in here. I'll be right back. Oh, that's where you were hiding, William. Hiding from you, Liddell, yes. Stop sulking in your corner and come dance with us. No, no, stay away. Ch stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Liddell! Oh, you smell like pine trees. Hey, don't fall asleep on me. Mm. <sighs> Idiot. Hey, Karen? Where are you going? Purple Hyacinth, episode 84. Hey, Karen, where are you going? Oh, you know, it's close to midnight. Gotta flee before my carriage turns into a pumpkin and my clothes to rags. And you're leaving without saying goodbye to your co-workers? That's very rude of you. I... I don't belong here. They're not my... They're not really my co-workers. 
and even less, my friends. I'll see you around. Wait, I... Look, Kieran, you... you don't have to go because of me. I know you. You won't do anything. Actually, I've meant to... I meant to thank you for helping me with Chow's case. It... It means much more to me than you could know. The only bright spot in a very awful week, really. <laughs> so genuinely... Thank you, Kieran. Uh, sh Hello, weakling! Get your lily-livered asses over here for a drinking contest! The last one standing wins. Losers have to go sing on stage. Uh, Kieran is joining! Excuse you? Uh our first contestant, Kieran White. Uh, oh, did someone say drinking contest? No, 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 no. You misunderstood. Just go back to sleep. Oh. We need more contestants. Your lieutenant is up for the challenge, everyone. Woo! Oh. Oh, Will! Oh my gosh, he is traumatized. He's like, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> they were apostles. No. S and E bar. Click. Everyone's going home. What a night. Yeah, your present is a great bunch. Kim is just as crazy as the first day I saw you. Bah. <laughs> that was the best preview you could have had of Kim. She's always like that. Oh, pfft. yeah. Definitely better than my first preview of you. A foot in my face. Charming. I think meeting you lying on the floor catching cups would have have been better. Oh, uh, yes. Definitely the best version of myself. You're lucky you meant to have seen that, subordinate. A betrayal, a painful, unexpected but a inevitable ending. Someone around you has or will stab you in the back. No, I just want you to know that I would not cause you more harm than I already did. I sincerely mean it. Get away from here. I'll deal with Bella. No, not him. And he deserves to know. Hey, there are th a few things I need to tell you. A lot, actually. Oops. Uh, I suppose I'll start with the beginning. I didn't tell you the truth that day, when we caught Onslow at the Golden Clover. Hmm, yeah. You found a picture in his notebook. You told me it was related to your demotion. Exactly. I always wondered what on earth you saw in it. I reacted so violently to it because I recognized Sake in the photograph. The picture was taken on the day of the explosion, near the entrance of the Allendale station. But the real reason I lost it was because Sake... 
Sake was in my parents' car with my parents' driver. Abel Sandman. Seeing him with Sake, I knew it meant he had to be involved with the Phantom Scythe. My suspicions were confirmed when I ran into Sake the other day. Sake was involved in the Allendale bombing and Sandman was their getaway driver. I see your driver was already one of them. Yes, and... And at the Carmine Camilla, I heard Sake mention another man. Robin Delaney was in the car with them too. I still don't know why, but Delaney's dead and I couldn't find anything on him in the police records. I never heard of him either. Karen, there's one, an, one another thing Saki told me when I saw him. The day of the tragedy, he said, he said they took children with them on their way out. Have you ever heard about this? Do you know what happened to them? Or if there were others? Oh, yes. The kidnapped kids. The tale is known within the Phantom Scythe. They... They're dead. He wasn't lying. She was hoping her friend was still alive. He wasn't lying. He said they're all dead. All the kids that they took out on their way out of that Aladell tragedy, the explosion. And I think her heart just dropped. Like she was hoping that her friend made it through and that he's somewhere. Maybe he's part of the Phantom Scythe, but he's alive. I don't know. So, like, I got feeling in my heart is that maybe Kieran is her friend, but he, of course, changed his looks and everything. And he got brainwashed, you know. Like, you know, they put him on an electric chair and zap him until he loses his memory. I don't know. And maybe Kieran is her friend. But, you know... You know, uh, what are the possibilities? What are the chances, you know? All right, guys, that was a pretty... It was such a fun read for 83, but 84, episode 84 was pretty... It took a turn. All right, guys, um, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!